Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival Story and we are on the Mindful SMP and this is where our story is. So as you can see we are over here at our new base area. Uh, let's have a take a look at this it is Kent Stake. This is where we are. This is still in its infancy. We still got a lot of work to do on this and I hope to address some of this in this episode or in the next one. This is going to be a reasonably long arduous build and I've got to get it right. I really want to get this right so what we're doing here is building a great big facade here. Archway as a doorway, windows etc etc all the way into this sort of build in here. But I'm going to do something a little bit different to this build. This build is not going to be one pristine looking build we're going to make sure we look a bit aged etc etc and some other interesting stuff so we come through the archway here we come through which will probably be another archway here not sure i need to incorporate the mountainside in it somehow so i might have to landscape the uh, mountainside down a bit and this will be a corridor section this corridor section will be moving around into here and into the mountain which is why i need to sort of incorporate the mountain in some respects but yeah here is going to be an archway this is going to be leading into something as we come up here this also will be leading into what we call an archway and that will be coming all the way around let's go down here for this all the way around past through the mountain there over the top here through here somewhere and that will be bringing up the next part of our portal which is what we've done so far already we've made it a bit greeny made it a bit slimy made it a bit old and decrepit and looks like it might be falling apart at some point i still don't know whether or not i'm going to be putting underneath here some form of pillar to hold it up or i just might leave it as it is a bit of mystical levitating portal area here and this is going to be in four corners so it's going to come all the way around into four corners like a north east south and west sort of layout so that it's going to come through there that's where the tunnel is going to come all the way through here with something built in the mountain there that's also going to go into here and around like a big circle and i'm going to incorporate some designs into the faces there also this mountain here is probably going to be the main source of what I'm going to be building because it's probably the biggest part of the mountain around here. So I'm going to be doing something interesting in there too. As you know, back over here, we have some bits and pieces in our inventory. As you can see, we're going to be doing something with that soon-ish. Just want to clarify a little bit more what we're going to be doing over here. So this is our mine entrance. So this is going to be all changing and incorporate this into a nice little scene and all of this is going to be landscaped in a particular way to make it look interesting so that's my plans for this area here at the moment i'm not going to go deep in delving into any more major stuff that i will be doing around here because i'm going to keep that as a surprise and when we get there i will let you know some more but what i want to do today is basically get into the never our little never room build that never room up get that sorted out make it nice and pristine and clean so it looks like where you're going is where you're going you know same builders around here and making the never room slightly more interesting than what it is so let's pop through and let's see what we can do so here we are ladies and gentlemen we are back in our little never room here so what we need to do is start looking at what we're going to do here i've got some ideas i want to incorporate a little bit of the never and a little bit of the build so let's knock all this out this is all to just basically stop the horrible ghasties from spawning in here while we're in and around this area i need to sort out this get there thank you jump out of there and we will place that block back into there so let's come back over here and chop all this out and i keep doing that right the build itself like i say is going to incorporate the base area a little bit so let's 
plonk that into there. So what we need to do is, I want to sort of do that a little bit. And then if we can get this up into there, that will probably work. And then we can do a little bit more of that there. So let's keep going. We're going to have to take our sign off. That's good. Bring that down to there. Take that one out and that one out. Do you want to take that one out just yet? We might need that bit in there. So we're going to use these blocks for this particular bit. So we just plot them into there just like so. Come back out of there. Boy, we don't need you there. Whizzy whizzy, let's get busy. So that's the pretty much point of where we're going to go from there. So this also needs a little bit of a tweaking, to be honest. So let's have a think. What can we do with this? Can we go like that? Give that a little bit of a... I want to go one more there, one more there, and we just get one more up there if we can. There we go. Leave them there. That doesn't really work because it's too stringently. Hmm. If we can go out to, let's see if we can. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what we can do. If we can get I don't want to do that like no, come here. If we can get this like this, let's have it. That looks a little bit better. Now we need to make sure that we can get another one in there and another one in there and then we can start looking at possibly putting these into there let's have a look yeah we could go with that we could definitely go with that yeah I'm quite liking that idea Let's get you out of there. Don't know I need to go that high, but we will see. No, we didn't. So for now, we just place you into that section there. Cool. Done. Now we need to do this. This is what I've got my idea here. We need to sort out this little bit here. So we're going to get that out of the way. And what we're going to do is bring those slabby things here or these stairs is here. And we're just going to basically, if we do this, see what that looks like for the time being. That might work. That might work. We will see. We will see. Take this out of the way. That's it. Get rid of you for a second. I don't think I've got enough of these for the moment. If I'm going to do that all the way around, I don't think I'm going to have enough. So leave that for now. I'm going to leave that there for now. I might raise it up actually. Yeah, I might raise the middle up. Go a little bit more in there. We need to slab, obviously, the floor in here to stop anything from spawning. So we could do that for now. Because that's a little bit dangerous here with, obviously, the possibility of gas is spawning. We don't want none of that now, do we? We don't need none of that. So 
So we haven't got enough slabs, but that's easy enough done. We've got loads of those to sort out. If we come in like that, probably do exactly what we've done here with these, just like so. Just like so, I think that might be worthy. That might be worthy. Still working along the lines of sorting out this flooring. Still thinking about what I'm going to do here because it's going to be quite interesting to come along now. It's going to be maybe one slab high here. If we don't mind stepping down in it, that might be all right. That might be all right. No, or we could just. Let's just work this out for a second. What about we do this? What about we do that? That'll work. That could work. That could work immensely. Cool. As for the walls, let's continue doing this. Cool. Don't know what that was all about. We don't want that there, do we? No, we don't want that there. So let's put a little bit of stuff in there, fill that up a little bit. There we go. And bump up there. Get our lovely, we'll go that way, and we'll go that way, and then boom, boom, and boom. There we go, it's looking all right like that, I think. Like I say, we'll probably raise this section up a little bit. Maybe not, don't know yet. Let's get that one up into there. And that, I think, could do it. We could, I think, what about that? Oh yeah, that could work, that could work indeed. So we'll do that for now. Leave that in this sort of situation. I need to go and get some more bits and pieces. So I'm going to continue on doing some more here. And I'm going to bring you guys back once I've done a little bit more. So let me go and get some stuff. And uh, I'll see you back here in a few. So here we are. We are still doing what we can with this. This needs to change. Still doing what we can with this. We're pretty much done here in the wall section. And I want to show, tell you a bit what my design is going to be about. As you already know, we are doing a little bit here. We've got some holes in the ground, which we're going to have some lava coming out of these, which I think will be amazing. It could be dangerous if people walk into them, but if people do understand that just walk straight through the center you're not going to get hit by the lava we put some stairs in here some crap bricks and some of that lovely lovely mossy brick in there too we've done exactly the same over this side this one's a bit more less holy and more brick and cracks in the ceiling there we have done our design for the ceiling now in the ceiling what we are going to do is we are going to have an immense amount of light coming down. Well, an immense amount of light. It's only going to be three pieces of glowstone possibly in there. And we will probably do exactly the same with this design down here. Let's get some more glowstone going on there. <clears throat> with this design, we need to start thinking about digging this out one more. Just like so. And then we need to go and get ourselves some of that lovely lava. Not 100% sure the quickest way to get to the lava pool might be down the ladder in the portal room. So what we need to do here is now go just like so. And just bring that all the way around. And do exactly the same there might not have enough for this but we'll see there we 
go. What we could probably do here is put three lights into there, maybe. Or maybe not. What we could do? What can we do? Can we knock this out? Knock this one out. We go up one more. I think we need to. Let's go in there and there and in there. Let's see what happens if we can get a bit of mossy stone brick here just to go up into the corners here. Oh, wow. There we go. Get that into there. A few odds and sods in here would do. Just get it up. There you go. Now we need to go with normal brick. Go with normal stone for this one. Just to uh, get a bit of... No, not like that. I need you in the hole, my friend. In the hole will do. There we go. And then what we do is just do that and put the light source in there. Up in the top there, we need to dig it out one more. Unfortunately, I need to raise the floor for that. So this is what we've got so far. This is our build in the making. I do believe we just need to get that lava in here now and we should be raring to go. So let's have a look. Let's go on and have a look, see if we can get some lava. I'll go and get some lava and I will be back in a few. Well, we've been getting our lava. So what we're gonna do now is pretty much, I think what we should do is knock out this one. I know I had this knocked out. I've been trying something different recently and knock out those ones there. I might need those ones. So we take them back and whop that into there. Cool, should run out into that little safe zone there. So that's it, this is our tunnel all done. The lights are in now. We've done a bit of cracked more bits and pieces up there. And as you come running around here, this is it. This is our way to our base area. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. They don't look, you know, it looks all right. It looks all right, we should be all right with that. So yeah, that's it. This is our doorway to our base. And uh, that's that done. So now we're going to move on to our next part of this episode. And that is probably going to be finishing off the portal area at our base. So let me get on with doing some of that. And I will bring you guys back when I've done a little bit more of this. Because this is going to be a little bit of time consuming. And I don't really think I'll be able to do it in a time lapse at this very moment in time because I don't know if I've got time to complete this today. So I might have to come back and revisit this tomorrow to finish the episode off. So let's get back into doing this and we will see what it looks like when we're done. So let me get some done and we'll see what we got. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've been a little bit busy over here and uh, I just want to show you what I've been doing. Oh, we've got some of that stuff growing on that bit of grass over there. That's cool, extra pieces that we need. So here we are, we walk through here, which we still got to build yet. This is going to be in a different episode. So what we do is walk through here as you're coming from over in that direction. If you come over from that direction, that is. And then you come through this little arch right here. This will all be filled in. So we don't need to see that. This will be changed into something different, of course. Pretty much the same as it is. This build in this whole area is going to be cracked brick and brick and mossy stone brick. We come up here and now we have... We have all our ways leading up to the portal. They're all different. They're not exactly the same because different levels, etc. And different closeness to the rock. Now, if we come down here, we have this done so far. This is probably basically going to be some bits and pieces that I'm going to have going around. But we will see how that goes. I might not have this. I might take this bit out. Or I might leave these ones in. But the other design I want to use will be slightly different. Over here we've 
carved out some more. This is where the brickwork is going to start. It's going to start along this side, curve around there a little bit. But we're going to do it slightly different. And uh, I can't wait to see how this works, to be honest with you. So yeah, we come over here. We've got this entrance here. This is going to be a reasonable entrance. It's going to filter in with this the design here. But uh, we'll have to see how that works as we go. So as we come in, you've got two ways you can go in. Like I say, you can go in down there into the portal, or you can come around in here. This is all going to be redesigned and um, landscaped immensely. Come here, you can see down there into the river and the pool and everything else down below. We've still got to build a roof section of our portal here. And uh, we've got this bit as you come running all the way down here. We've carved it out just so we can get a layout of the land around here. Above here we've got some water. We've stopped the flow of water there for the moment. So we can sort of build in an archway here so the water flows either side. That is the idea for this bit. As you come up to here, we come round here and we've also got to find a way of getting this done. I don't know, I might have to do this an outside bit, build up underneath, fill it all in and have this all flattened out to be like a little courtyard area that is pretty much where I am stuck with this one at the moment the doorway comes right over here as you can see that's where that comes into there so we've still got to sort this bit out over here but I'm going to put a courtyard outside bit which then leads off into that direction probably another archway gate or something over there then that's going to go round the corner and into this section. This is going to be something else built here. And I might have to sort of change the flow of water here. I'm not sure. I've tried to do a little bit at the moment, as you can see with those bits there. But we're going to have to redesign that and clear all that up in the future. But for now, what we're going to do to end the episode off, what we're going to do is just finish placing our iron bars. Because we need to place these in. So it filters that in and looks rather safety wise. Don't want to be falling off of here down into there, do we now? No, that would not be a pretty sight by all means. So yeah, we'll just fill these in here. There we go, that's all done. And uh, that's where we've gotten to so far in this episode. We've done quite a reasonable amount of work over the course of a couple of days. So. Yeah, I'm pretty happy what we've got so far. This is looking good. It's looking old. It's looking derelictish. I was going to change some more bits and pieces up for it, but I think I'm going to leave this particular bit pretty much intact. There's going to be some other bits and pieces I'm going to change. Under here, as you can see, it looks a bit poo. So what we're going to do is going to bring that down into like a pointy sort of situation with the rock and the stone. And make it look like it's a floating bit of rock above the water there that's what i'm aiming to do there so for now i just want to say thank you very much for watching this episode this has been a design issue with some of these bits and pieces like underneath there needs to be terraformed as well but in general it's looking pretty good i've also changed the stem of flow with the water here too I might have to rejiggle that a little bit, get that a little bit more water flowing elsewhere. But at the moment, I've got to sort that out. I just sort of made it a bit less than what it was because there's quite a lot of water there covering right around the corner there. But apart from that, that is it. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below because it always helps me out. And if you really like the episode, hit that subscribe button too because there's a lot more going on here in the future also down in the description don't forget go and have a look at all the other mindful participants all the other mindful creators on here they're all having fantastic times themselves go and check them out go and have a look at their channels and give them a smashing good like too and subscribe if you really like their content also but for now i'm gonna to have to say goodbye i'm gonna to to say thank you very much and i'm gonna to have to say take care see you all next time and bye for now